good start. I've got to get my welly out of the canal. It's just falling in. <laughs> Don't ask me how it's done that. <laughs> Well, there we are, I've got the welly out. The old barge pole did the job. But yeah, it is windy, so things are blowing all over the place. Right, anyway, I'm gonna go meet a friend, and we're gonna go magnet fishing, and it is gonna be lots of fun. It's gonna be more fun than losing your welly in the canal, anyway. Right, here we go, top lock. The lock keeper's here, and my friend, Elizabeth. All right, guys. Hi, Hello there. Hello, what are you doing here? <laughs> Before we meet Liz properly, I just want to thank a few people who have joined on Patreon to become members of the Crank It crew. So first up, we have got Simon Basham, Warren Getty, then we've got Calamity Jane, Clive Gant, Alison Palmer, Christopher Bladen, Mark C, Rob and Ruth, Craig King, Jane Beale, Martin Tweddle, Elfie Townsend, Alex Gale, Brad Green, John and Linda Atkinson. And there's one more that I need to add so he gets another page, lucky chap. Chris Wicks. And red flags for everyone because they're all producers of the vlog as well. So that's the second level, second tier up from the standard Cranky Crew member and I've just blown over by how many people uh, have joined the crew and are all supporting. So thanks so much everyone, really do keep me going and it's back to the video. This is Leela, my rescue from the Caribbean that I decided to adopt after um, some advice from Captain Morgan. Captain Morgan, <laughs> okay right. <laughs> But yeah, so we both live on our boat together now, but she used to be a sailor dog and now she's very spoilt and apathetic towards society. Where do you come from? I come from Nuneaton, so mm -hmm. it only makes sense to be... Yeah, where are we now, just for people who, well, I don't know where I am. This is Aviston. <laughs> yeah. This is Aviston, so I'm actually betraying my family by being here. The next town to Nuneaton and... Um, it's quite local then. It's, it's, it's very a, local. Yeah. I'm like 10 minutes away from all my friends and family. So it's very easy to get comfortable and stay here forever. So. <laughs> Better watch out there. <laughs> well, we're just here to do some magnet fishing and um, yeah, just get away from our own boats, I suppose. Get out a little bit and uh, do Try something to find fun. Some riches. Some hidden treasure. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's go, guys, and then we'll just go to some really pumped up music. Are you? No, you, you don't care. No, do you? she doesn't care, <laughs> though, isn't it? You used to actually live at sea on a sailboat. I did. I did. I did the South Atlantic and then the Caribbean Sea, but I came back because of this girl. Have you done this before? No, this is my, this is my first okay. dunk. I need to say them. yeah, make sure you hold on to one of the ends. <laughs> Are you really mansplaining to me how to hold a rope? Is that really that's, just happens? that's all I know about magnification. <laughs> Round one to Liz in the devastating banter competition. But we've got another competition on, and that's who can find the most exciting thing in the canal. I'm really Magnet fishing is something I have a little bit of experience with. I've got my magnets here, both of which are mine. Started off with just the orange one, which is a standard sea searcher. And then I bought another one off the internet, which is a bit more powerful, the one that Liz is using. But we both have equal chance really of finding stuff. It's just, you gotta know where to look. Locks are good places. Um, boaters drop a fair few things whilst they're going through those. And, um, yeah, just in any any little bit by the towpath there should find something. I want to find 
like a pocket watch yeah. or a piece of jewellery. So then I can go on anti Trojo or they can give me, I don't know, a, an exhibition in the British Museum. Right, we're learning about Liz. She expects the world on a plate. <laughs> she, yeah, I'm just hoping that she doesn't get too upset and too put off from magnet fishing because it can be really fun. Um, even when you can't really find much or if you pull the magnet up and lo and behold. What is it? There's nothing, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it just gets stuck under a rock oh. or in the mud, and you think, "Oh, I've That's got something quite there." Disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Liz. Be what you, what can you get? Time. I'm going to be in the British Museum. <laughs> I'm finally, going to earn the respect and, of my family. Yeah, right. <laughs> Behold. Oh. oh, what? There's something there. No, it's not. Unless we it's like a, 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 a tiny 15th century shot. <gasps> That's yeah. more exciting. <laughs> from a, oh, no, from a musket. I don't even know that they were around. It. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, this is what I've got so far. That's it. Oh. I've got a stick. I don't know how I managed that, but I've got a stick. Oh. What is that? Right, we've got a nail. And a bolt. So yeah, nothing too exciting. But that's heavy. Counts. Weight counts. Right, I'm abandoning that spot for a while. We're going to go ahead to this next bridge and see if we can find other stuff. We're thinking people will surely throw stuff off this bridge. Where are you off to now, Robbie? Uh, I don't know. Just playing today. Oh, so you drop some tin rather than well, this is all good practice for when I do. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. I've got a share in the narrowboat. That's one of the first things I did was buy one of those big magnets. Yeah. Just in case. <laughs> so they wouldn't let you have one full time then? No. <laughs> See ya. I'll go towards... Treasure. I'll go towards our, <laughs> yes. our, our beer. What year is it? What year is oh, it? Oh yeah. What would we get extra if it's an old one? Oh, it's 2000. <laughs> Never mind, that's a pretty good find. That's okay. that's more value than I think. One up penny today. towards our pint. <gasps> it's a ring! It's actually a ring. Has it got something in the middle of it? Yeah. Then? Oh sh I do. If the ring fits, it's a beautiful wash it first. Because it's been in the canal. <laughs> still we're still fishing, but I've just bumped into Kay who helped <laughs> me rescue my welly earlier on. And you've got an extra fact about this place, haven't you? I do have an extra fact. Extra fact, guys. <clears throat> so Atherston was well known for its hat making and this factory only closed I think early 2000s. But all throughout the town there were hat makers and during the early 1800s, late 1700s, Atherston itself was very well known for making billycock hats. But they were felt hats so they squished together quite yeah. easily and they were sent out to the Caribbean for the slave trade. So oh. in certain places in the Caribbean, the slave owners had to supply an outfit of clothes to the enslaved people on their plantation. And they came from and this Not necessarily from this factory, but throughout Atherston. After slavery was abolished, it appears in newspapers and things that Atherston is really struggling because, they, because of the diminishing of the slave trade. Right, I think we're pretty much done here. The last few throws, and then we are going to the pub of the week. Hopefully, we'll find some uh, <laughs> pennies to pay for it. Yeah, well, I've got one. So we've got you three. Have, we've got two. three pennies. <laughs> Let's see. Last Come on, one. last, last one. What are we gonna find this. Whatever you find now is gonna sum up the whole day. Oh, um, <laughs> it's half a leaf. Okay. <laughs> and some and crud. This, um, which is uh, <laughs> the part of a 18th century timepiece. 
used especially in funerals when they cast the body off into the canals. Um, so I think it's only respectful to throw it back. It's been a struggle is what she's trying to say the whole day, but we've got a hole. You want to check it out? I've got several hinges and things like that. Lots of fixings, bolts. I've got, I've got, oh no. I, have I lost the two P I found? <laughs> Did you put it straight in your pocket? I don't know what I've done with it. <laughs> Aha! I found uh, a penny from the year 2000. 2000? Mm -hmm. Nice. And then I found... Uh, oh, I found another penny from mm. the year 2001. I've got a, a vape which is mostly plastic. I don't know how it picked it up. I guess by the battery inside, is it? Got a battery. Oh dear. Uh, so yeah. Is that a disposable one? I don't know. Yes, it's a disposable one. We're not going to honk on that uh, anytime I don't know, soon. I don't buy them, uh, but my, I know someone who, who does. <laughs> um, I got, I don't know what that is. Yeah, no clues. It, give, it, might, it looks like a bit of a watch or something. Oh. Oh, it's got stainless steel <gasps> written on it. Um, that's about as many watch. clues as I okay, can find. Okay, we found a bit of stainless steel, and then I have an assortment of old nails. Yeah. Yeah, we've both got a few of those. Uh, I found nice. some costume jewellery, an earring. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I got this. This is a. Um, I think this is my favourite oh one. Oh my god! It's a bit oh, rusty, I but. Look how smug you are. <laughs> That is a find. That is a find. I've never found anything like that I just that love before. the idea of someone who has there. like been cruising in the back of their boat and then it's, they've opened yeah. up a... It's got to be from a boat, isn't it? Yeah. I can't imagine someone walking on the street and going... No. <laughs> just chucking like, that in the water. Obviously, the husband, and it's from Cyprus, the right. husband has literally opened a beer and uh, Margaret, his wife, has been like, Phil, pay attention. <laughs> Not lots coming up. Put your beer away. That's pretty much it for me. I don't know what that is. It's a caliper of some sort, isn't it? I don't know. And um, part of a... Oh, I think I might have the other part. Look. <gasps> Are you joking? <laughs> uh... Look, everyone, look. <laughs> and there we go. I don't Fishing think it's going to buy us a pint. It's not, is it? I think we should definitely try and use this money to buy a drink. But the big question was, did... Liz, enjoy her day magnet fishing. I really, really enjoyed it. It was loads of fun. And because it's, it's about thinking what you might find. It's not instantly gratuitous. It's in the indulgence <laughs> of your you know, imagination thinking about what you're gonna get. So that, I loved it, but I'm also soul crushingly, incredibly disappointed and hungry. I had a disappointing start where I was getting really bored and I was thinking the weather looks terrible and then it He was grumpy because he wasn't getting as good yeah, as a haul as me. All I got was that and I was thinking, no, that's not enough. It's never enough though, is it? Never I could, enough. I could do this, yeah. I, could just carry I don't think that's going to pay for either of our boat renovations. Not, never mind. <laughs> right, let's get the show Leela, on. Leela, come here, baby. Who do you Leela, think? What did you think? Personally, I would have preferred more biscuits and to be inside on a sofa having my, my belly tickled. But obviously, I'm not lovable enough. Ooh. Oh, 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 we can't come in. Okay, one, two, three. Yeah. Just over here. Right. <laughs> Follow the table, just over here. Quick, quick, because the car's coming. Is he coming this way? Yeah, he's coming this way. Oh, Wait till the garden. I'll probably dub over this bit. Yeah. Okay. Play, play some music across it. The Market Tavern declined to take our pennies that we took out of the canal, but they did let us clean up our hands, which are covered in the most horrible, foul-smelling sludge. Um, lovely place, great beers, can't fault it. Pub of the week. Another successful day. Out of the cut. <laughs> that is pub of the week. Fade out. <laughs>